Welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. My name is Steve White and I'm a Battalion Chief with the Fishers Fire Department. In this segment, we're going to utilize the airbag system of the truck to lower down to stabilize onto our box cribbing. First, we're going to begin with our standard box cribbing that we covered in previous segments. Keep in mind, when we build the box crib, we want to capture the actual frame of the cab. You'll notice as they build the box cribbing, you can see two of the four airbags that are part of the suspension system of the cab. On subcab designs, you're going to find that the lights may be in the way. Simply remove them with a sawzall or chisel so you can have a good pathway to build the box cribbing from the ground up to the frame rails. Now we've captured the back frame rails with two solid box cribs. With the trailer removed, we're going to take a look at the three critical components. First, we have the leveling valve. Then we have the leveling arm. And then we have the control rod. The control rod is mounted to the axle itself, the leveling valve is mounted to the frame rail. These components allow control of the air in and out of the airbags based on the load placed on the fifth wheel. To start the operation, you can either disconnect or cut the control rod from the axle and then manually dump the air. This will completely stabilize the frame of the truck. If during the operation you need to bring the frame back up, you can put air back in the bags by using the control rod. As we bring this segment to a close, we just want to point out the importance of chocking the wheels, whether it's with lumber or a chock off of a fire apparatus. Also keep in mind that we did this segment without the trailer on the cab so you could see the vital components. In a real rescue situation, all of this work is going to have to be done from underneath the cab in the trailer. I'm Steve White. Thank you for watching Training Minutes, and we want to thank Holmatro for sponsoring them.